Hong Kong's annual fair for animations, comics and games is back after a year-long suspension due to the pandemic. Many fans say that some of the things they look forward to are limited edition collectibles, video games and some cosplay. Antrim tells us more. The annual 22nd Anacom and Games Hong Kong Fair is back after a year-long pandemic hiatus. Unlike past years, there weren't overnight queues or dramatic rushes, thanks to one social distancing measure, a lucky draw which decides who gets to enter first and in which order. The first person in made a beeline for this product from local toy manufacturer 30. There's a huge crowd of people behind me, many likely gunning for the limited edition collectibles, which tend to sell out fast. With 244 exhibitors across more than 800 booths, the four-day event will also feature a wide selection of anime, comics, video games, and rare toys from all around the world. I'm happy to be here. I went all out and prepared about 500 US dollars for grab bags, but they only cost a third of that. This year, Japanese toy maker Bandai has the biggest presence, showcasing popular products from Gundam to Demon Slayer. Two years ago, we got like a worldwide competition we call the Gunpla. This year is also uh, still stopping for, because of the worldwide pandemic. That's why we expand uh, our booth size so that we may have more corridors. We are seeing people queuing for the, like, the normal items and as well as the limited items. So we are quite satisfied. And debuting for the first time is the Elephant Pop Art and Toy Show 2021, which features various exhibitions like this one on Popeye, with works from 16 world-class toy designers. Business aside, as you can see, this event is also a major cosplay gathering, which means people get to dress up as their favorite characters. The best part is, they don't just get to showcase their works. There's even a prize contest for the best costume. This outfit took me almost a month to put together. It has to match the original look. This is 3D printed, so it was expensive. That's not all. Aside from cosplay, the fair also offers other creative outlets. I'm at the zone for doujin, a Japanese term for self-published works by aspiring or professional creators. There are over 150 booths that offer products, from postcards to t-shirts. There's also a designated stage back there for live performances. Meanwhile, the eSports carnival is also a popular feature, where people can test out the hottest video games and gaming devices. And these days, an event like this won't be complete without some element of virtual reality. But this next one is a tad different. Sitting about 10 kilometers away on an indoor racetrack is a remote-controlled car. The cool thing is, with 5G technology, I'll be able to drive that car using this. It's called Real Virtuality Racing, and the experience offers a first-person perspective in real time. Time to hit the road. Until next time, I'm Ann Chang for CGTN in Hong Kong.